story that's close to our hearts. Battleship Park is home to a new memorial honoring those who have died in the war on terror. A thousand people gathered for a dedication yesterday and to hear from a young woman whose father was the first U.S. service member killed in combat after the 9-11 attacks. News 5's Roseanne Haven has more on the event's keynote speaker. 14 years ago today, I was a carefree nine-year-old in the fourth grade. My only concern that morning was what games we'd play on the playground that afternoon. Now 23 years old, News 5 journalist Allison Spann shares her memory of the morning of September 11, 2001. Her father's response to the terrorist attacks would forever change her world. The way he tried to explain it to me was, I have to go over there so that they don't come over here and hurt you. Johnny Michael Spann, a retired Marine captain and CIA officer, went to Afghanistan to find Osama bin Laden. While on a mission to question Taliban members detained by the Afghani army, two bombs went off, triggering a prison uprising. My dad was firing back with an AK-47 at first, ran out of ammo, had his handgun, and then from, from what we were told was sort of run over by a ton of prisoners and just wasn't able to make it out of that heap. November 25th, 2001, her dad became the first U.S. service member killed in combat after the 9-11 attacks. Even more heartbreak for nine-year-old Allison when her mother died the following month of cancer. And I think I gained a much greater sense of life. You know, life is short and you need to tackle your goals as soon as possible and experience everything you can while you can. And I sort of learned, you know, to live my life because my parents weren't able to do that. Allison is very proud of her American hero father and after his death visited Afghanistan where a memorial stands in his honor. There's a translator and all they say, you know, thank you so much for joining Michael Spann. You know, now we don't have to worry about walking out the door not wearing a full burqa because your dad got rid of the Taliban. And, you know, of course, right after the Taliban was gone in that area and these people could live life, you know, semi-normally. They didn't have to worry about, you know, their neighbor telling on them when they walked out the door wearing the wrong clothing because that could mean death to someone over there. We know that the freedoms we enjoy come at a price. Here at home, Allison enjoys meeting other military families. She can relate to them. She knows what it's like having a loved one serve in a foreign country. And for the average civilian American, American. She has a special message. I just want them to know that the military does a lot of good overseas. You see what you see here on the news, and but you know you never see the perspective of the person who's actually impacted by what the military does, and it's all usually good. And I just I would like people to know that the military does a lot of good, and they sacrifice a lot, you know, time away from their family to go help other people. Roseanne Haven, News Five. Captain Johnny Michael Spann, that's Allison's father, was from Winfield, Alabama. That's actually west of Birmingham. His name is one of 146 names of Alabamians inscribed on the 9-11 Fallen Heroes Memorial at Battleship Park.